politics and painting, uh, it really in some way epitomizes the, the, the lives and the dreams and the desires and the work of two of Mexico's most significant modern artists, Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. They shared a passion for each other. They shared a passion for politics. And above all, they shared a passion for painting. They are extraordinary painters. In some way, these three things are not, are, you can't separate them once you bring these two artists together. The key word for, for myself in this title, and one of the reasons I was so honored to be asked by the Art Gallery of Ontario to be the guest curator for this exhibition, is that uh, having politics in the title means that you can address what really shaped uh, these two artists. And those were the great revolutions of the early 20th century, the Mexican Revolution and the Russian Revolution. Both Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera embraced a post, the Mexican Revolution ended in 1920. Uh, there was a new vision for Mexico. It was a vision in which would honor Mexico's indigenous history, its indigenous peoples, its rural uh, popular festivals. Both uh, Rivera and Kahlo very much embrace this vision of the uh, new vision for Mexico. Mexico also promotes uh, mural painting, giving Rivera an opportunity to paint the walls of Mexico. So both of them had a tremendous, uh, were, were shaped and had a tremendous uh, respect for uh, what the Mexican Revolution had achieved. It was a very, very bloody, a very terrible revolution, a million people died, but out of that came opportunities for people, they came land reform opportunities uh, for people to not be so uh, poor, and above all in the cultural field to present a completely different vision of Mexico. A Mexico that was proud of its uh, indigenous history, its pre-Columbian art. And the other part of the politics is what, what bound them together was the revolution of their country, their post-revolutionary culture, but what also bound them tomorrow to, together is their vision of a revolutionary future. Both of them were communists, they embraced uh, the ideas that the workers and peasants uh, would be freed from oppression uh, by communism. They were idealists. We have to remember this is the 1920s and 1930s. Communism didn't, people didn't really have the same understanding of the level of tyranny that was happening in the Soviet Union. There was a tremendous faith that somehow the world would be a better place. And uh, this is reflected uh, primarily in Rivera's uh, murals but it's what underlay a lot of their will to live and their deep bond with each other. I think we should clarify that Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera have been shown together, uh, but often their work is separated. By bringing their work, and particularly in this gallery that we're standing in right now together, it gives an opportunity, I think, to, to it, that, that what the painting speaks to or expresses is you can see their, both of their uh, commitment to indigenous culture, to, to uh, a new vision of Mexico. These are not paintings of uh, monuments or European style. Each of them in their own way has developed a way to uh, represent Mexico. And very interesting, a lot of it is not just, it, a lot of it's through vegetation. So for Rivera, it's sunflowers. Uh, here's a portrait that we're standing in front of, of uh, by uh, Frida Kahlo, a later portrait. And you can see uh, Rosito Murillo uh, in, 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 enveloped by uh, Mexico's vegetation. The other thing I think that becomes very clear when you pair uh, Kahlo and Rivera together is that Rivera paints an image of, uh, he has a great love for uh, the indigenous traditions. He paints the indigenous people, uh, often in maternal scenes. Uh, what you also see in the same room is Callow expressing her own heritage as someone who's um, of mixed indigenous uh, European descent by, in fact, portraying herself as looking far more indigenous than actually she was in. in 
her self-portraits later on, uh, in contrast to a white doll that lies beside her. She very much becomes uh, that, she assumes that part of her heritage. So she internalizes uh, and finds a way to an embed into her painting that new vision of, uh, of Mexico that's going to be a fusion of indigenous and European cultures and uh, Rivera paints it figuratively.